you were born in uh, Africa, Central, Central African Republic. Central African Republic. Yes, Bangui, capital city. Grew up in Bria, 600 kilometers away from the capital city until I was 18 years old. Wow. Uh, to a uh, Central African and French father and a Belgian American mother. Okay. Um, It's a lot of DNA so, in there. Shh, trust me. <laughs> uh, Macaroni. It was, it was hard to figure out my identity for a while because, you know, you know, one of those things. So, But, uh, how long have you been, it's, uh, how long you know, did you live in Africa? 18 years. I was born and raised. 18 years. And bred. Bro, you're more mm -hmm. African than me. Like, I left when I was seven. You left, like, at 18. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Well, 17 to be exact, but I was, I was 17 yeah, like, turning 18, so yeah. I always say that there's, there's, yeah. there's three types of Africans. Uh, you have people who are in Africa, who live in Africa, who live in Africa, who are, like, really living it, the mm -hmm. country to country, of course. Then you have those who, who lived all their, until their adult life, their teenage years, and then they moved to Europe. Those don't have the same, those, um, they come with a more African mentality than the ones who, 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 who were born in Europe. And it's funny because the ones that are born in Europe are the most vocal, the most pro-black, pro-African, pro this, pro that, and most of them, they don't even go to Africa. <laughs> so it's funny. And uh, there was, those are the ones that you see online talking all the time from, uh, but they have a, they have a, they actually have a European view and don't, they don't even realize that when you hear them talk, they really talk like Europeans and they, they come with European solutions to, to, for the continent. And yeah, I mean, And then you have those like me. I arrived when I was eight, so in a way, uh, I mean, I think I'm more European in my in my way to be than you. Actually, I don't even know how to dance sukus when you dance sukus like. A, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you can quantify the Africanity of somebody by the capacity of that person able to dance, but eh. and you know that very well. Yeah. But. I mean, yes. I mean, you know, it's like the, it's like the idea that you know, because uh, because you're black, you got a long from the back. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's always the case for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, your your millage will vary. Your millage will vary. 